welcome to the session. In this session, we'll discuss a question which says that the following table gives number in legs of passenger cars passing from toll bridge from May 2005 to June 2007. Now this data is given to us. Now we have to construct a table showing the 12 monthly moving averages and draw a graph to show the trend. And now we will start with the solution. Now we will construct a table showing the 12 monthly moving averages for this given data. So we have drawn a table for the given data. Now here the first column is representing the years. And the second column is representing the months in the particular years. And in the next column, we have the number of cars in legs. Then in the next column, we will find the 12 monthly moving total. In the next column, we will find the 12 monthly moving average. And in the last column, we will find the 12 monthly moving average centered. First of all, we will find the 12 monthly moving total. For this, we will add the values for the first 12 months. That is, starting from the data which is given to us, that is given from the month of May in the year 2005. So starting from the month of May in the year 2005, we will add all the values up to the month of April in the year 2006. That is, starting from 21, we will add all the values up to 20. Now considering May as the first month and April in the year 2006 as the twelfth month, we will check the sixth and the seventh month. Now the sixth and the seventh month is the month of October and the month of November in the year 2005. So we will place this total in between the 6th and the 7th month. That is in between the month of October and November in the year 2005. Now on adding all these values, we are getting the total as 325. Now in the next step, we will leave the value for the first month and now we will add the values for the next 12 months. That is, starting from the month of June in the year 2005 up to the month of May in the year 2006. So we will add all the values starting from 23 up to 21. And we will place the total in between the month of November and the month of December in the year 2005 and the total of all these values is 325. And now in the next step we will leave this value and we will add the values for the next 12 months that is starting from the month of July in the year 2005 up to the month of June in the year 2006. So starting from 35, we will add all these values up to 23 and we will place the total in between the month of December in the year 2005 and the month of January in the year 2006. And the total of all these values is 325. And now we will leave this value and add the values for the next 12 months. That is starting from the month of August in the year 2005 up to the month of July in the year 2006. So starting from 36 we will add all these values up to 31 and we will place the total in between the month of January and February in the year 2006 and the total is 321. Now in the next step we will leave this value and we will add the values for the next 12 months. That is starting from 29 we will add all the values up to 35. 
exercise and we will place the total in between the month of February and March in the year 2006 and the total of all these values is 320. Now we will add the values for the next 12 months that is starting from 21 we will add all the values up to 33 and we will place this total in between the month of March and April in the year 2006 and the total is 324. Now starting from 24 we will add all the values up to 24 and we will place the total in between the month of April and May in the year 2006 and the total is 327. Now we will continue these steps until this last month's value which is given to us in the data that is for the month of June in the year 2007 is taken into account. Now we will add the values for the next 12 months that is starting from 26 we will add all these values up to 21 and we will place this total in between the months of May and June in the year 2006 and the total is 324. Now we will add the values for the next 12 months that is starting from 38 we will add all the values up to 34 and we will place this total in between the month of June and July in the year 2006 and the total is 332. Now starting from 28 we will add all the values up to 36 and we will place the total in between the month of July and August in the year 2006 and the total is 330. Now starting from 24 we will add all the values up to 25 and we will place this total in between the month of August and September in the year 2006 and the total is 327. Now starting from 20 we will add all the values up to 28 and we will place the total in between the month of September and October in the year 2006 and the total is 331. Now we will add the values for the next 12 months that is starting from 23 we will add all the values up to 26 and we will place the total in between the months of November and December in the year 2006 and the total is 338. Now starting from 31 we will add all the values up to 38 and we will place the total in between the month of December in the year 2006 and the month of January in the year 2007. And the total is 353. So we have continued these steps until this last month's value is taken into account. Now we will calculate the 12 monthly moving averages. For calculating this, we will divide the 12 monthly moving totals by 12. Now here, the 12 monthly moving total is 325. So the 12 monthly moving average will be 325 by 12 which is equal to 27.08. Similarly here it will be 325 by 12 which is also 27.08. Here also it will be 27.08. Now 321 by 12 is 26.75. Three twenty by twelve is twenty six point six six. Three twenty four by twelve is twenty seven. Three twenty seven by twelve is twenty seven point two five. Three twenty four by twelve is twenty seven. Three thirty two by twelve is twenty seven point six six. Three thirty by twelve is 27.5 327 by 12 is 27.25 331 by 12 is 27.58 333 
23 by 12 is 27.75 338 by 12 is 28.16 353 by 12 is 29.42 and now we will find the 12 monthly moving average centered for calculating the 12 monthly moving average center, we will add the first two moving averages and divide the total by 2 and place it against the 7th month that is here, the month of November in the year 2005. That is, starting from May, the 7th month is November so we will add these two moving averages that will be 27.08 plus 27.08 whole upon 2 which will be equal to 27.08. Now in the next step consider the next two moving averages. We will add them and divide the total by 2 and place it against the month of December in the year 2005. And this value will be 27.08. Now consider the next two moving averages. Add them and divide the total by 2 and place this value against the month of January in the year 2006. And it will give 26.91. Similarly, we will take the next two moving averages, adding them and dividing the total by 2. We will place this value against the month of February in the year 2006 and this will be 26.705. Now consider the next two moving averages, add them and divide the total by 2 and place it against the month of March in the year 2006 and it will give 26.83. Now consider the next two moving averages and for these moving averages this value will be 27.12 and we are placing it against the month of April in the year 2006. Now, for the next two moving averages, on adding them and dividing the total by 2, we will place this value against the month of May in the year 2006 and this value is 27.12. Now consider the next two moving averages, add them and divide the total by 2 and place it against the month of June in the year 2006 and the value is 27.12. 3, 3. And now consider the next two moving averages, add them and divide the total by 2 and place it against the month of July in the year 2006 and this value is 27.58. Now for the next two moving averages, this value is 27.58. Three seven five, and we are placing it against the month of August in the year 2006. Now for the next two moving averages, we are getting this value as 27.415. And we will place this value against the month of September in the year 2006. Now consider the next two moving averages, add them and divide the total by 2 and place it against the month of October in the year 2006 and this value is 27.665. Now for the next two moving averages, this value is 27.955 and we are placing it against the month of November in the year 2006. Now consider the next two moving averages, add them and divide the total by 2 and place it against the month of December in the year 2006 and this value is 28.79.
And now we will draw a graph for the actual and the trend values. First of all, let us plot the actual values on the graph. For this, we will plot the months in the particular years with the number of cars in lengths. So the first point that we will plot on the graph will be the month of May in the year 2005 with 21. So this is the required point on the graph. And this means in the month of May in the year 2005, the number of cars passing from the toll bridge were 21 lakhs. Now the next point that we will plot on the graph will be the month of June in the year 2005 with 23. So this is the required point on the graph which means in the month of June in the year 2005 the number of cars passing from the toll bridge were 23 lakhs. Similarly we will plot all these points that is the months in the particular years with the number of cars in legs for plotting the actual values on the graph. So we will plot all these points on the graph. So we have plotted all these points on the graph. Now by drawing all these points, we are getting the graph for the actual values. And now we will plot the trend values on the graph. For this, first of all, let us draw off these values of trend monthly moving average centered. Now for plotting the trend values, we will plot the months in the particular years with the trend monthly moving average centered. That is, the first point that we will plot on the graph will be the month of November in the year 2005 with 27.1. So this is the required point on the graph. Now the next point will be the month of December in the year 2005 with 27.1. Now this is the required point on the graph. Similarly, we will plot the rest of the months in the particular years with the 12 monthly moving average centered. So we have plotted all these points on the graph. Now by joining all these points we are getting the graph for the trend values and this is also called the trend line. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.